this music. I've forgotten how good the music is on these Transport Fever games. Oh yeah. Hello everybody! Welcome, or I should say hello there Master Halashir and welcome <laughs> to Transport Fever. That sounds western. I love- oh yeah. The music in this game is really good. It does seem like it's a bit loud. <laughs> Um, we'll see how it all balances out when we're in the game, but I'm just going to change the game's master volume to 50%. Make it a little bit more background. Um, CGA says, bought it at half price, no regrets whatsoever. I also bought this when it was on offer as well. Um, we're not going to mess around. This is a lunchtime live stream. Yes, normally we start at 12 UTC today. It is an hour later because of all sorts of things that I've got going on today. But here we go. We're going to swap over. Let's see if my scene works. The brand new scene. Sometimes there is a second before it picks up the window. No? No, oh, it is not picked up the window. Let's have a look. Game capture space engineers. That's not right. Why have we got Game Capture Space Engineers for Transport Fever 2? Alright. It's probably because I stole the Space Engineers background. Oh, they've changed this. So, let's do Game Capture. Add Source. We'll do a new source. This is uh, Transport Fever 2. Add. And we'll select a specific window. There we go. Here it is. Sorted. I love this music. I love the music in the previous game. We're not going to sit here and listen to the music all day. We're going to start a game. So we're not going to do the campaign. It's not where my heart is. Maybe we'll do it some other time. But today, we're going for a free game. Here we go. So you can see that this being Transport Fever 2 has several improvements over the, uh, the last one. We get a brilliant map um, generation now to show you what the lay of the land would look like. And in addition to the temperate and kind of dry environment, we now have a tropical environment, which to me looks extremely interesting. Now, to, the tropical environment is actually very similar to the temperate environment. It's just a little bit more islandy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Moose says, uh, I got bored of the campaign after the first chapter. Hmm. More water, more boats. Not just boats, Brandon, but aircraft as well. So I'd like a, a mix of all of them. So it says it's now on offer on Steam, 50% off. Fantastic. That is brilliant. Uh, let's. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new game. We're going to use the Tropical one because it's new. Hilliness, I, I think most of these I'm happy with like the size of it all. Uh, the size of the map is medium. If we go very large, how big can we get this? With like so many towns and industries. That's not that many towns actually. It says 21 towns. What if we put the mainland down a notch? What happens if we do that? Do we get... Mm, see, that is much more broken on the mainland. What if we bring islands down? Does that allow more room for the mainland? Hmm. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. What if... Let's bring the mainland up a bit. Oh... <laughs> Do boats suck less? I think boats suck less. I like... I want a map like this, but I also want, like, more islands as well. Maybe we just need to change the, the, the seed that we're working with. Like, I, I don't want the mainland to touch the outside of the map. I want it... Yeah, like... Mm, yeah, like that. I like that. It's like a central main island with bits shooting off to the side. You know what? We'll go with that. So we've got a high number of towns, which for this map is only 21. And I've got a doorbell. Someone's yep. at the front door. I'll be back in just a second, folks. Yeah, this is the end here. It's the end of the sport. Oh, no. Oh, I had a genuine, oh, my gracious moment then. <laughs> I felt... I fell through a hole in the floor, and oh, there's, no. a, there's another tunnel down here. Someone clipped that. Oh. Oh. Oh, my heart's going. <laughs> I thought I'd fallen down to the bottom. Okay, so with just four 
hours remaining. We uh, we're going to bed. We've only had one raid. Oh. We've only had two raids. I am pretty... Oh, no. Oh, no. What have I done, folks? He's going to be the first to say it. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe I've done it. Yeah, backwards. It's all backwards. It's all backwards. There we go, folks. There we go. It is the season. Tis the season to receive many posts through door. Um, Nudger says, I didn't wait. I got it at launch at full price. Yeah, I, I waited because I knew I didn't have time. Not Caribbean theme. Tropical theme. I like this. It's got some lakes. It's got some mountains. It's I've got a big island. Sorry about the microphone. And there's some stuff on islands as well. There's like a town over here and some towns separated by water over there. So I'm, we're going to go with this map. It's a very large one, so hopefully the computer will handle it okay. Um, and now the vehicle set. Now, in the first season, we did Europe. And in the second season, we did USA of, of Transport Fever 1. We have the option of Asia here. But I'm being drawn to Europe because that's more local to me and I haven't experienced Europe in Transport Fever 2. If we do a second season, then I'd be tempted to go to Asia because that would also be new. So let's put it at Europe. Difficulty, we're going to keep at medium. If I'm always, if In a game, if I'm given three options, like easy, medium, hard, I'll always go for the medium. At least to start off with. If you're given like five options, I tend to go for the middle one. Like, I don't want the game to be too easy, but if it's the first time I've played it, I'm not going to go straight in for the hardest. I don't know how the yard starting year is going to affect us, so I'm just going to leave it as it is on default. Let's start, I guess. Yes! Oh, I've been looking forward to I haven't tried this. I have not tried this. Um, all I, I did a little bit of research about what differences there are between Transport Fever 1 and 2. There's a quite a few not so massive differences but one of the biggest differences is modular stations like you add platforms to stations you can have a single line and it can have a passenger platform on one side and on the other side you can have a cargo platform on the same line and things like that do they have old boats with red paddles on the side probably probably brandon uh, it's taking a while to generate and i can actually see my cpu is just peaked at 38 percent it's dropping down a bit now, 17%, 24, 15. So the computer's working at it, and RAM is actually going up. I'm I'm up to 40% uh, RAM um, utilization now. Wow, the CPU jumped up to 60% for a moment there. Which, while I'm streaming, is good that it doesn't jump, jump up to 100, because it can cause jitters in the stream. Here we go. Let's have a look and see what the situation is. Here we go. So the game, is it currently paused? Nope, let's pause. Right, it says, welcome. Provide the world with transport infrastructure it needs and make a fortune with transport services. Watch your train run on rails, your buses and trucks thunder along roads, your ships power through the water and your planes soar through the skies. Tip, we'll read that in a minute. Carry people on the way to work for shopping, deliver the required cargo items to towns, or and be the reason towns grow and thrive. Okay, if you need help, click question mark and all this stuff. Brilliant. And we've got hold the right mouse button to move the camera around. There we go. It is pretty huge, this map. Pretty. Look at this. We've even got like a fog for where we can't see any. Oh, it, the graphics are fantastic. Look at this. So we've, this is one corner of the map. If we go from one corner and zoom in just a little and just like work our way across the map. We've got some beautiful little islands here. Towns, hills, cities, lakes. This is look, this is good. You've been, been looking at getting it for a while. Well, apparently it's 50% off at the moment. 
and based on how good Transport Fever 1 was, I would recommend it. Now one of the important things to note, it doesn't look like the music's too loud. I'm going to notch it down in my headset because I feel like I'm shouting over it. Um, but the towns now, they used to just require the same things, but now each town has its own requirements. Let me look at the quality of the graphics when you zoom right in. And you can go right out and then right into another town. And you can see things in the distance and all sorts. That, that is so smooth. The transitions between small sprite... Is it even transitional between small sprite, big sprite? I'm not sure. That looks like a nice little village pub. Oh, it's a restaurant. I thought it was a pub. And we're inside a building. That's fine. Get an interesting view. It's my fault for going inside it. So, where are we going to start, folks? Well, I almost certainly we need to start on the mainland. And I think almost certainly we need to start with passengers, don't we? Um... And I think what we need to do is we need to find two relatively large towns with a not too bad a distance between them and flat land. Like, this is a really, really good town to put a train station in because you can put the station, like, in the middle here and, and just flow out at that point. But where would you then connect it to? Is there a town directory? What's this down here? Line statistics. Oh, here we go. Town statistics. Size. Okay, so this town is the biggest town. Yes, I can see that. It's also... I would say... Is it on an island? There's kind of like a weird sand bridge situation going on here, connecting it to the mainland, which is interesting. Oh, and there's an actual bridge bridge over here connecting it to that land. Um, and this town looks like it's a relatively decent size. We could start down here. What about the next largest town? Bradnish, I think that is. That would be a good one to start in. I like that one. Right, what's, what's near Bradnish? You think there's a name for the land bridge? I think you're right. Uh, what's near Bretnish? Okay, so there's some towns there. That's quite long. Far away. Oh, look. Got Manchester. That's a relatively small town, though. We want to go bigger than that. So what sort of flat land can we get to? Hey, what sort of flat area can we get from... Haxby, that's quite close. God, Manchester. I think it's got to be Chertsey. What does the chat think? The layers make it possible to focus on specific information. Fantastic. Although, having said that, look. Middlewich is quite a nice place, but it's too far away from where I wanted to start. There's Rotherham. Again, relatively small. Ooh, look at this. This town looks quite big. Wellington. Middlesbrough. Is there Middlesbrough on here? I'm not si There's a There's a Middlewich. Uh, and various other places... But I'm not seeing a Middlesbrough. Oh, actually, look at this. Pickering's a good one. That is a. That is not too bad, actually. We could go from Pickering around here. Let's see if we can do it. We're going to try and do a train service between the two. Is AG just shouting out random place names? Uh, okay. So let's do a building. Let's start with a passenger terminus. We've got five million to start off with. Uh, and we need to rotate this. 
So is it M and N? Yeah. So we're going to start off with just one track, one platform, and we need to be able to connect it up. So it looks like we're going to have to get rid of one of the buildings. But if we do connect it up, how much of the town do we see? Oh, look, that covers like the entire town by connecting it up there. You have to see where the passengers what what to go or they don't use the lines. Let's have a look. Um... I mean, they don't really want to go anywhere by the looks of it at the moment. Um, they just want to stay in the town. But I'm presuming that's because there's no line. Um, let's do it. Here we go, then. We're going to give it a go. So I want this to be... Quite... Can I hold shift and... Do a little bit of adjustments there. Now, can I do it so that, like, one building, smaller building, we will be removed? Hmm. Yeah, I am on pause at the moment. Just working out how I want this to go. So that's 2,000 something something. Oh, yeah, that building's so much more expensive. So we, we'll go for this building here. Uh, we do need to get rid of that bit of road, though. So let's... Can I do that while the game is... Oh, that costs 75000 Because it's connected to that house. Okay. We'll go with one of the more expensive buildings then. This one. There we go. We've built our first passenger station. Now, presumably, we need to actually now connect that up to another passenger station. So let's see what the situation is over here. Okay. Get a passenger station in. Now... Oh, screen's going a bit crazy. So if I put that... Where are the houses in this town? There's not a lot of houses. It's all industrial. In fact, the only houses are on this side of town. So if I connect it up to this street... Then we would serve that. Although there are shops as well and people might want to travel to the shops. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to try and get this in so it only links and demolishes one building. There we go. <laughs> you love how the first route is blocked by mountain. Yeah. Well, we'll see how things go. We're just going to put some standard tracks in now. This is where I have to remember how tracks work. So it looks like we've got a gentle incline here. Relatively straight. We're going round the edge of this mountain. Through that forest. And then with this one. We've got farmland here that I want to try and avoid actually. So let's try and do. Something like this. It's still at a good speed. We've got a level crossing in there. And then we want to go. Like, I have to zoom in to build across here. We'll have that as a straight bit. And then maybe bring it out slightly to here. And then if I can do this, see, that's quite a tight curve there. But this bit's okay. So let's bulldoze those bits just try and get the better curve in there 
There we go. Mm. It is much better, but that is still a little bit... I don't think that's going to worry us too much at the minute. Does a farmland actually affect rates in the game? I don't know, actually. I just thought it'd be a good idea to go around it. This bend is a little bit sharp still. But it's not too bad. And then I've got a funny feeling that this bit's going to be quite easy to do. Yes. Okay, so the only bit I'm not happy with is this bend here. So let's take out more of that. That seems to look better. Where's the overlay for train speeds? Oh, where's the overlays? Is that overlays? That's line manager, vehicle manager, um, line statistics. We don't want that. Is that the overlays there? Nope. You'd have thought if you had the track tool out, it would give you information about the local track. Uh, what's that magic tool? Upgrade. No, we don't want to do that. Well, you can add waypoints now. That's cool. Um, what's this? Station statistics, town statistics, industry information, and line statistics. Fair enough. Oh, layers are top left there. There we go. So we've got land height, water stuff. Uh, there's a land layer. What's this? People, cargo, stations. Emissions. HUD icon filter. It's weird. I thought I would be able to see the speed of a line whilst building. Never mind. I skipped it. Oh, there we go. Track speed limiters. Okay, so I, I looks like... Yeah, look, it is a little bit slow just there. So I think what we'll do is we'll bulldoze the two that are slow along with two either side and rebuild to see if that makes a difference. There we go. Perfect. That's the perfect railway line. Why did I skip over that? Okay, so we've got a what I feel to be a perfect railway line. Now we need, I think, vehicles. So let's get a train depot. But will any of the trains go and be going 120? I highly doubt it, Brandon. So let's uh, just turn this train depot around. Um, and I think if we just pop it like this for now, we've still got quite a lot of money. Just doing it until the junction says 120. There we go. Financial overview. Yes. We don't want to look at the financial overview at the minute. We don't we don't want to look at how terrible things are. Let's get our first train on the road. On the road. Let's have a look. Vehicle manager. So we've got no vehicles. Buy vehicles. Oh look at this train! There's a D one third. So if we look at locomotives, that is the only locomotive we have. So we will add that. And if we look at passenger wagons, that is the only passenger wagons that we've got. So let's build. If we put four, five wagons on, that's just under a million. What's better? Oh, you know what? Let's do it. There we go. We've got a train now. Now, we've got a train. There we go. The train has no line. Its condition is very good. We need to do a new line. So we're going to go from Brandish to... Bickering. 
and then back again. Achievement, first line. There we go, we're starting small, folks. We're starting small and easy. So presumably now I need to go uh, vehicles, train one, it's on line one, stop start. And unpause. Here we go, folks. I think. Hello? Where's my train? Stopped. Don't want to stop. We want to go. Here we go. Fantastic. Look at that. There's not even a proper cab. That train cost me a million. Bet there's no passengers waiting as well. I mean, it's, co it's also cost us money to run. I can see there's horse and carriages going through. There's three game speeds, so we won't worry about that at the minute. How are the signals compared to open TTD? Is it easy to learn? Yes. <gasps> We've got passengers. We've got some passengers coming for the first train here. I hope he's going to pay like a million dollars for his ticket. Actually, we're playing in Europe. We should be playing in pounds, not dollars. There we go. First steamer to arrive, for pass for first passenger on board. It's the first train in the world, yes. Signals in this one. It's like Open TTD if you only use path signals. Now, if we click this station, we can do configure. And we can add things to it. Like we can add track, we can add platforms. So we can add a cargo platform, like here. So we can have a cargo train come in. We could even add um, stuff over there. We can add a passenger building on the side, or we can put a passenger building over there so that it links up with the street. We don't need it to because the coverage reaches around there. So it's all now very beautiful and modular. We've got underpasses now, which we can add to the platforms. Um, a side entrance, so we could just put a little side entrance on here. Look. Um, it, it doesn't look like it would connect up with that road either. Elaine's here. Hey, Elaine. Where's the train gone? God, it's on its way already. Uh, in Europe, you ought to pay play in euros. Not that silly currency that silly people in the silly island off the coast of Europe use. Yeah, you're right, actually. This is a European map. It should be euros, not pounds. I don't think there's a way you can customise that, but uh, here we go. So what do I think so far? Well, the snapping and placement of things feels better. The graphics, in my opinion, look better. The, it, it, the overall zoomed out version looks quite good, but the... I'm not too... The forest looks a bit weird. I mean, it looks a bit weird now because we're slowly following this train. There was no euros in 1850. That's true, but you probably didn't have dollars there either. Can I change my currency to be barrels of tea? Yes, barrels of tea for sure. Now, we could buy a second train. How many passengers have we got? 32. How many people can our train hold? 30. So we've actually got more passengers here already than we need. I feel like we should double up the line. And then add an, more trains. What do we think, chat? Should we double the line up? So if we just add that beside that one to begin with, and then do a... I mean, that's a little bit harsh on that side. 
If anything, it wants to come on the other side. How else would you add more trains? Uh, we could add more trains with passing places. Will people get you a lot of money though? I don't know. Maybe we should look at doing like services within the towns or to very nearby towns by road. Or stop at Rotherham maybe. I'm kind of feeling like this is a good idea because look, right, there is already 33 people waiting at this station and the train that we built for a million already has a maximum capacity of 30 people which to me says we need more trains. Uh, there is already 13 people at this one as well. Is there canals? Let's have a look. Uh, doesn't look... Well, actually, no, you've got terrain deformation. So in theory, you could just dig a hole and the water would go into it. Um, I'm, I'm going to risk it. We're going to put a second railway line in. So we're going to start with the line against this one. And then we'll make it come out just a bit. And then from the out we'll straight... Oh, hang on. I think we might need to do this further up to get the, the junction right. Let's start from the junction. There we go. We also need to find out like how much money this train's going to make when it gets there. Where's the train gone? There it is. The train's only over here. I'm going to unpause the game. So we're going to peel off here. I'm going to try and do it so that it is maximum speed. And there we go. That's nice, that works. And then in theory, we should just be able to follow this track. Doubling up the track looks a bit awkward. Well, you can do it quite easily for some sections. And if you just like stick it to the track, it will just like follow the curve. So doubling up the track is not awkward. They've got that down right here. It's just a matter that I wanted to get this merge super quick. I wanted it to be nice and flowing. Right, where's my train gone? There we go. Maybe I shouldn't watch a double stream while the stream is doing its down... Oh, while, while Steam is doing its download. It's fine, probably. Now the question is, is whether we're going to get this line into the station on the other side. So let's come through here and then we need this to merge. And the best way to do the merge is by splitting off the line. I'm going to keep it as short as possible without interrupting the speed. And then connect it up. Looks good to me. Let's pop some signals on it. Standard signals here. So we've got one signal. Oh, they've got arrows on the tracks now to help with the signals. That's much better. So we want one signal for going that way. And I guess one signal for going that way. Now, are they one-way signals or what? Let's get off the signals and choose them. One way, yes. One way, yes. So now when we zoom out, we get a slightly different image. It's just a single signal there. Let's go down to the other end. We've got two million left, so we've actually got enough money for the other train. So let's put a signal in for... Like, ooh, that's a bit close, isn't it? Let's get rid of that one. Pop it in over here. There we go. So one will go in there, one will go in there. One way, yes. 
I think this should be one way by default in my opinion. Is there not an option for that? Mm, not really. Never mind. Um, both YouTube and Twitch are often enough of a loading. Why aren't why aren't you why you got YouTube going as well? Everything in this game seems rather expensive. It is. It's very expensive. Let's can we clone a train? Buy vehicles. New vehicle. Locomotives. Add wagon. Add 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 add. There we go. Capacity is 30. Purchase. So now we've spent just uh, just under four million. And we're gonna add train two to line one. And you can see the lines have automatically split because of the stuff that's going on with the signals. So train number two already. There we go. So where's our other train? Our other train is actually just starting to get into Pickering. So these trains will be actually quite nicely spaced. Wonder how much money we're going to get. That that's the interesting thing there. But if we can get like one profitable line in to start, it's a good start. Click on the train to clone. Thank you very much for the advice. One of the things we've got though is the smoke sprites are going off the end of the screen and as soon as they go off the the center of the sprite goes off the end of the screen it stops rendering so you get these weird flashing lines. Isn't the smoke a bit black? Maybe it is, I don't know. How many people are at the station? 34. Okay, we got 25,000 just from transferring, I think it was three passengers. So now the train is full of 30 passengers. I think that's going to be quite good, isn't it? That should be like quarter of a million for a journey. This train's only just left. So we'll be able to follow its finances, but this time this one's full. And hopefully this train will... God, these signals actually cost money to have in maintenance. Like 25,000. But here we go. Our account is at the million mark. And we're going to see how much money we make. If at all. So we're running a bi-directional service here at the moment. So there goes one train. Leaving one side. And the other train from the other side is also on its way. The autosave is coming. It looks like it costs about 50,000 to run a train for a length of this journey. So three passengers offset about half the price. So if we're carrying six or more passengers, I think we'll be all right. We're going to make profit. But then we have to pay for the signals and we have to pay for the stations as well. It's a fantastic countryside. And we've got uh, look, what looks like a flock of birds in the background there. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward until the two trains cross because that's going to be a nice little thing to see. Hopefully we can see the other train coming. in the distance. This is the straight section along the back of the hillside. Oh, yep, there's birds all there. Are there breakdowns in this game? I don't think there is actually. 
So our true two trains, each one costing about a million, are about to go over. Raphael says you should start to connect some industries. I agree. That is something that we need to do very soon. There we go. The two trains have just crossed each other's paths. So this town requires um, boxes and bricks, whatever that is. Uh, this place over here makes bricks from stone. And there is stone over here. So we could get the stone stuff to this place and then bring it over here for the bricks. There's also stone over there. This place changes what Lego and right angles into boxes. And yes, I'm deliberately saying the wrong names. Uh, because I don't know the right ones yet. And this is where you make the right angles. Uh, I can't even see anywhere where you'd make the Lego. So let's start by doing the bricks. Oh look, there's a place there that makes right, right angles. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll connect these two roads up. And then we'll just set a little service going. <laughs> Legos and right angles, yep. So we've got uh, rocks to bricks, uh, which isn't Lego. Right, uh, road. Now it looks like that road is the same as that road. Yes, it does look very similar. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a T-junction here going off this way. And then we're going to... Ah, uh, hang on. Can I have curvy road, please? forgot how the curvy road works yeah it works like that there we go and can I upgrade this road here into that road too I say upgrade I think that might have been a bit of a downgrade but never mind so what we need to do now is put in the truck stop by the way we're going to use trucks for this Look at the graphics on this. That's fantastic. Let's hope this is set in England, otherwise in 10 years we're in trouble. Yeah, we're going to do some trucks. We're going to truck around. We're going to go buildings. We're going to get a truck station. And we're going to put it right outside here. Let's turn it around. Now I'm going to get it as far away as possible so that our trucks can do the quickest journey possible. So here. I don't know if that's a good tactic, but I'm going to give it a try. We're going to do something similar here, but I'm thinking we just put it on this, this crossroads. There we go. And then in theory, we just have to put it next to where they want the, what we create in bricks. So this area wants bricks. There's a bit of space over here, which is quite close brick central. There's a bit of space over here as well. Let's just rotate that round. No, I accidentally went up instead of round. So if I put that over this end, that does actually cover all of brick central. So let's squeeze it in if I hold shift I can do some fine tuning there we go look at that you are now connecting a coal mine to where you need a stone mine oh no I'm not am I oh yes I am look Coal mine requires stone. Brilliant. Where's the stone? I can't see any stone. I thought I'd got lucky then. Right, industries. No, that's towns. Industries. Product. Uh, not seeing it. 
Wait, there. We've got three of them. We're looking at quarries. We're looking for quarries. Wow. There's one over this side of the map. One over here. Oh my goodness, there's three quarries right there. And that's it, I think. Oh no, wait, there's four quarries. There's one over here too. Wow. I don't think this game needs multiplayer. Well, that, that's not going to happen then. That is just way too far from what the things from the things we're working on. Um, also, our trains are now on the way back, so now is a good time to see how much money they may. Look at that! This is train number one, and it is now a hundred thousand in profit. How's train two doing? Because train two started with thirty passengers. They are, look. So there's the profit to loss sort of thing. Hopefully we'll be alright. Digger can now to get the stone. And we're not going to be able to do that. Right, let's... Ooh, right, okay. So we're not going to be able to make these bricks. Because the stone quarry is, like... Where's the nearest stone one? I've lost it again. It's miles away, though. Stone quarry was somewhere over here. I think. See, there's three over there. There's four. No, wait. Just three. Okay. And I think the other one... Yeah, there it is. So we'd have to get it from here, round this mountain, all the way over there. Which by train is possible, but it's not going to happen for us today. Yep. Yeah. Got to double check those primary industries. We've wasted a little bit of money here now. So we, we can't do that. It's not practical for us to do that at this time. So the, the other thing that this town needs is boxes. And the boxes are made over here. And we need right angles and Lego blocks. Now, right angles we need here. This is coal, which we can get. And the other thing we need for the right angles is the this one, whatever that is, iron ore. So we can have trucks going across here and across there. I probably could have kept that one in actually. And then that will give us the right that will give us the triangles. But where do we get Lego bricks from? And do we need we need both, don't we? We can't just have one and not the other. Um, yeah, let's go to the industry directory again and look for Lego bricks. Right, place that makes the Lego bricks. Oh, is is there any? Oh, hang on. No, that that's plastic. Uh, what makes plastic? There we go. So we there are there's three. There's one way over here. There's one way down here, and there's one over here. Oh, they're all out on the islands. It's not going to happen. That is not going to happen anytime soon for either of those two commodities. Okay, let's go down to the other town and see what this one wants. This one wants bread, and it wants um, the other thing. Mechanical components. Okay, so this... This makes components, and it needs right angles and something else to make it. Let's have a look. Let's work it out. So, presumably, we get wheat in to make the bread. Right, here we go. Yeah, wheat to bread is in a food processing plant by the looks of it. So we just need to find a food processing plant that's near our town. That one's not too far away possible in fact the food processing plant there it could be quite good because what we can do is pick up the grain here go along to the food processing plant and then pick up the food and bring it back to the town which could be a good thing to do so there's that one then there's a food processing plant over here which isn't too far away we could create food over here look there's 
There's a few farms. We could turn it into food and then maybe use this main line to send the food all the way down there. And then the other food processing plants over here at Wellington, again, not too far away and there's a couple of farms. Do you need both products to produce stuff? I believe so. I think you do in this game. So uh, that's a good example. Here you go. So the rule of thumb here is two bits of copper, two bits of coal make one piece of steel. God, this, this is going to be a challenge and a half. It really is. There's the plastics production, which we could do with a ship. There's the oil. I think food is the thing that we're going to be able to do here first. So we're, I think next time what we'll do is supply pickering with food. We'll put truck stops in at the farm. We'll take it down all the way down this road to the food processing, processing plant and then we'll take it back. So if you need two iron and one coal, just supply two iron and a million coal. I don't know. I don't know if that's how it works. But like I said, we'll have to leave that until next time and see how it goes. I feel like we're probably going to need more trains on this line. Individually, it looks like the trains are making a profit. Um, the trains are both in very con good conditions. Maybe we can add some more carriages to these trains so that we can capitalize on their pulling power and, and speed. I mean, if we unpause the game now, it's already going at its top speed 40 kilometers an hour. Um, you can see the details here. Running cost is 158,000 a year. The value is rapidly decreasing. Top speed is 40 kilometers. Power is 66 kilowatt hours. Uh, power rating is medium on this and there's no backwards drive. Loading speed is 10. We can also set colors, but we're not going to do that right now. So we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there, folks. We've generated our beautiful world. We've put in our first stations with our first line and our first trains and I'm really looking forward to seeing what's coming next on this and hopefully hopefully we don't plunge um, us into the red apparently our earnings at the minute is at minus 1.2 million I think with a couple more coaches on these trains and some trucks running for the food we might be all right we might be all right but thank you very much for watching. Remember, tomorrow at lunchtime, we're gaming with the viewer plus subscribers. And of Thursday night, we've got our Minecraft Let's Play Skyrim Wednesday lunch. Uh, sorry, Skyrim Friday lunchtime. And of course, some videos over the weekend. I'll see you soon. But that's all from me. Take care. Thanks for coming. Bye for now, folks.